Hello again, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I have a, another diagnostic scan tool we can have a look at today. It is the Autel MK900BT. So this is the Bluetooth version. And I've got a little car that we can check it out on here, Mini Cooper Diesel. So here is the tool. It comes in a hard carry case, as you can see here. If we just have a read of the packaging, you can see it said it's got a quad-core processor with an 8-inch LCD touchscreen. And again, on the back here, just some of the stuff that it can do everything that you'd expect basically read and clear your fault codes it has automatic VIN technology support and pre and post scan function reset service mileage and intervals relearn your parking brakes forced regenerations for DPFs support battery registrations steering angle resets okay so if we open up the carry case you can see we have the tool inside so I'm just in the process of setting it up so we're going to choose our language so while I'm doing that we'll have a little look over the actual tool itself so you can see this one takes USB-C and the USB-A connection there micro SD card point right there it's got a stand on the back and a camera now of course the stand is for mounting it on your steering wheel while you're using it it's got some sort of um, carbon fiber effect on the back and over here you've got your power supply and your Bluetooth VCI here. We'll have a look inside the top of the case, see what else we have. So we've got these little notches that we need to open. So there's not much in that side or there. Okay, so the stand, we can connect it onto our steering wheel here. Okay, so you can see that some updates need to be done, but we're just going to try and scan this vehicle now. Okay, so we're just going to hit this button here. We will see, give it a second, see if it does like an automatic search of the vehicle. Some of these will do, some of them won't. If not, we can search on the bar up there. We'll look for Mini. We'll accept the disclaimer. And now we will try to read the VIN. There we go. Press OK, so it's a Mini Cooper Diesel 2013. Okay, now that we're in, we've got these different functions. You can do diagnose, service, your hot functions, and just a vehicle profile. So we'll just go through a couple of different things. This just shows you the vehicle profile. Uh, diagnostics is going to obviously go through. You can do an auto scan, which will go through each individual item on the car. Now, this might take a while, depending on what car you have. You can see there is a lot of different faults coming up. It is scanning through each module right now. It's pretty quick to be honest, that is pretty quick. Uh, so we'll have a look in the engine module here. And I'll just take you through like some of the stuff that I would normally look at on a diagnostic scan. You can see the voltage is a little bit low on this car, 11.89. And we also did have a message up just up here saying low battery. So. That correlates with what we're showing here, that we should have over sort of 12 volts, 12.2 to 12.6 volts there. Particulate filter is an issue. Particulate filter, air system to EGR, plausibility, and glow plug activations. So yeah, all of the common issues that we normally see on these minis. So we'll go back here, uh, we can have a look at live data. We can look at different areas in the system. So we're going to go to the exhaust emissions and We can see exhaust back pressure is at a minus eight, which is not not where you want it to be Remaining mileage of the particulate filter is at zero So you can see these cars have a timer on the DPFs where it will run out and this tool has the option to reset that so if you've, if you've put a new DPF on it, you can reset that. Some of these cars do have these mileage countdowns and it, you will get an error come up even though the DPF is actually fine. So you can reset some of these. So we're going to see if we can find a differential pressure, which is not listed right here, is it? Exhaust. Gas back pressure. Well, some of these cars have got different 
different uh, interpretations of words I, I would say okay now we've got the engine running we're just gonna have a look at what has changed so exhaust gas pressure has now come to zero hold the revs up so you can see there we've got different readings on the exhaust gas pressure temperature of the exhaust should now start to increase as we give it some revs see there it's doing it's last time it's done a regeneration was 200 kilometers ago so nothing too alarming there operational values let's have a look at this one you can see you've got all of these different items here that you can check over on the vehicle now also here we've got options for active test now depending on which part of the module you're going to you're going to get different options so the one we've got here is for the fan you can turn your fan on and off control that so one of the handy things about this being a Bluetooth model is you are able to carry it outside the vehicle without any wires attached. That will give us the option to try out the electric fan. Let's activate it. You can hear the fan working there. So we'll deactivate that. So that is just a demonstration of one of the active tests. Now each different module you go into will have different items that you can press. and. Different cars will give you more options, some will give you less options. So now if we look here on the ABS system, we have some more faults in that. We can read what the faults are again. And of course we've just got under voltage faults there. So this car has a weak battery and that is going to be causing a lot of these fault codes here. And again, if we look at the live data for the ABS, we should be able to say if you want to diagnose a faulty ABS sensor if you've got ABS faults or wheel speed sensor faults you can sort of go to each wheel you know a little bit of a spin the wheel you can see which sensor is actually reading so I'll just move the car to give that a little bit of a demo for you you can see there we've got all of the wheels given the same reading now if we exit the scan we can come back to obviously service these are different items that you can do here, so we'll have a look at the power control and the diesel electronics. This is where most of your stuff is that you're going to be looking at. Adjustment of the idle speed, injection quantity compensation, you've got all of these different different things that you can do. Now most of these I don't really use. In my sort of job, I sort of try to stick to one part of car repairs, which is the diesel particulate filter. Uh, if you watch my channel, you'd probably already know that. So you've got these different items here that you can sort of adjust and sort of reset. So by telling this we've put a new diesel particulate filter in it should sort of fix the mileage uh, countdown that we've got at zero for the DPF. What I'm going to try and look for to do on this is to adjust the sensor for the DPF. If we can find that. Okay, so we can't find the adaptions for the sensor on this some cars all of you have more options some cars you don't have other options um, we're going to go into the special functions see if we can see anything else in here a lot of these do have odometer sort of stuff on here but i haven't actually ever seen one that will work i've tried a couple of times just to see does it actually change the mileage or stuff like that i get asked that question a lot of times Will this adjust mileage? Will it do car keys? That sort of stuff is not my area. I don't get involved with it. But we'll try the hot functions again and see if we have anything in here for the DPF. We've got the particulate filter replacement or re regeneration. We don't have the option to calibrate the sensor because the sensor is reading out a little bit. Now we'll exit those. And we'll go back to the main menu. Just reminding you to take out the Bluetooth VCI. These are some of the vehicles that you can connect it to. And you can feel free to pause the screen there if you want to have a longer look. Obviously you've got all makes, American, Europe, you can sort of filter through each one. We'll go back to home. Obviously you've got different options here that you can click into your service, which is most of the stuff that I've already showed you. These are just sort of shortcuts. 
you have the option for battery tester I think that's a separate tester that you need to get to test that VCI manager remote desktop so if you can set up remote diagnostics and of course we have our update center where we're gonna now perform some updates on the tool we've got it connected to Wi-Fi here so these are the diff different updates that we can do so first we're gonna have to do the app, app update once we've done that we can then operate do the operating system and then we are free to update all of the different brands so that is the Autel tool you can see it's got a nice rubberized sort of case on it that would take a you know a bit of dropping and stuff like that it can handle that sort of basically is what I'm saying main point for me is this tool has now got a USB-C on it my older Autel that I have hasn't got the USB-C on it so I think like most people the USB-C is a big deal because it's just really easy to charge it up whenever you need to and not only that if you lose your charger or break it it's just very easily replaced so that's a that's a big plus point that you know some of these tools are sort of moving forward with the USB-C charging cables so that is the tool uh, I don't think there's much more that I can speak about on it and I'll see you on our next video